Today we're going to show you how to install a TJ seat, the rear seat from a TJ, as a third row in a JK Unlimited. So first off, we're going to show you um, how it's actually been put together so you can see that we're still maintaining the fold and tumble uh, so that you can be able to access the door underneath, um, be able to get to you know, all your gear and, and things like that. Um, some people like to do it rear facing so that uh, the kids can see out, but with a big tire and things like that, there's not much to see. Uh, I prefer to be able to maintain access to that under seat storage. So this still gives me the ability to flip it up. Um, as you can see, I put carabiners with little loops on here. Uh, this allows me to take this and um, use it as a handle for the people riding in the back, but it also allows me to take it and loop it onto the seat to hold it up in place uh, so it doesn't bounce around or flop back and forth. So uh, this was a used seat. Um, I got it uh, from Dr. Jeep in Provo, Utah. He, uh, he sells a bunch of great uh, used Jeep parts, takes them apart and, and, and parts them out for you. Um, so I picked it up from him for, I think it was $100, $150, something like that, very unexpected. You can see they're underneath the carpet uh, right here. So I actually removed the carpet kits and bolted them in there. I want to show you where under the Jeep we actually did that. So you can see there's bolts right here. Um, there's the gas tank here um, and then the frame. And then you've got a bolt right there. And then on the opposite side, there's another bolt right there. Uh, this one took a little finagling to get the position quite right, so I had to kind of move it to the side. But it worked well enough and it's been plenty secure. The other thing I did was I got, uh, used the bolts, the existing bolts that are here, and picked up a, just a standard seat belt, um, just a lap belt, so it's not shoulder harnessed or anything like that. Uh, the advantage of doing this is most of the time I'm putting kids in the back seat here, um, and so having a lap belt allows it to adjust pretty, fairly easily. They just, all kids get together in the same lap belt. Maybe not perfectly safe, but uh, it works really well for off-roading, which is really what we're using it for. To get the seat in place, you simply pop the cotter pin in there, bend it to the side, repeat on the other side, and then when you're done, fold the seat down just like this. Pull. And it locks in place. And voila, you've got a third row seat. Uh, I'll take the seat belt and run the other seat belt up here. So now you've got two seat belts ready to go. You've got three rows. Uh, it also makes it really easy to access, fold this down, let kids climb in. I'm back here and uh, you can see my knees are up a bit. Uh, part of it is because of how low the floor is, so it's sitting at an angle. But even for an adult, I'm 5'10". Uh, it's got actually not bad room. My knees aren't hitting. Uh, still gives me enough space uh, where I feel like I'm maybe not comfortable, but at least uh, it works. And uh, you can see here. The view from the back. Uh, pretty easy. Worked out pretty well. Great install. So that's how we installed a third row seat in a JK Unlimited. Uh, this is a 2008. Should work the same principles for anything between 2007 and up to the current model year. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.